what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and we have installed the latest MIUI 12 china beta which is 20.8.19 the close beta on our redmi note 8 it's officially available for a lot of devices i'll provide the link in the description for this china beta and which are the things you get in this latest china beta and also how about the performance is it really the super fast room in the terms of MIUI 12 official build and in this video i'm going to share with you some cool things about china beta some chinese apps which you get pre-installed and there are some little bit of changes also available make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything and now in this video let's get started okay so guys this is the latest china beta the first thing which we need to focus on is how's the performance i'm using from some time and the performance is very very smooth no lags at all and also app opening app closing speed is quite fast as you can see app closing app app opening and app closing speed is quite fast quite smooth no lags in opening app opening or app closing all apps are perfectly fine i'm using the app drawer option and it's just perfectly fine here in the China Beta custom room, in the China Beta MIUI 12 stable room, you get the Get Apps, which is actually the App Store available pre-installed. So that if you want to install Google Apps or if you want to install some apps and you don't want to use the Google Apps, then you can use the Get Apps available on the on the Chinese room. And also, if you don't know how to install the Google Apps in your Chinese room, I already dedicated, I already made a dedicated video on that. You can go and check it out, and then you'll be able to use the Google Apps on your device the thing which i have noticed after installing the chinese chinese stable custom or chinese beta custom the latest 20.8.19 the custom the latest beta room is this one in the app installation screen as you can see this is something interesting something new what is this actually you just have to click here and then you're going to report this app to this to like get apps or to me community this is kind of very interesting this and as you can see what you can do here you can simply select the category what you are facing what what issue you are facing here like the version is too old or ads make the app unusable and all the things you can simply select here you can add the attachments if you want to you can describe your issue and also name phone number email simply submit your complaint this is kind of very very interesting thing you should try out these kind of things and this is something interesting and i have noticed this thing in latest MIUI china beta room okay so if you're in using this china beta you will see you will face some a lot of chinese apps pre-installed like me ai app which is pre-installed me community me financial me home me mover me remote me roaming a lot of chinese apps are available and i think most of you guys will remove all these apps like these some chinese apps which we can't even understand vip.com and nowadays that indian government also banned all these chinese apps so you should uninstall all these apps right now from your device you can simply uninstall those apps i think directly from here yes you had you can simply uninstall all these apps directly some apps are not uninstallable so how you can uninstall them you just need a root permission root explorer and you can simply uninstall all these apps if you want to and also it is recommended you to uninstall all these apps like this qq browser you should uninstall all these things and if you want to install google apps you can use the google installer app and i have already made a video on this if you don't know how to install google apps you can check out my video on that you can go and install all these google apps right now on your if you move on to the dialer pad and when you go to the settings option let me just show you here you have the AI call assistant actually this will work in only I think Chinese variant and or you can say this is just work this will work in China region only I'm not sure about that but this is quite interesting you have the Jason or Molly which means Jason which means the male voice and Molly which means the female voice you can choose a pickup automatically option call from strangers ringing calls I'm not sure that this feature will work in India for sure or any other countries but the feature is quite interesting I've just found this feature right now we have the tag phone numbers you can simply enable this thing to scam real estate as or these kind of things this is quite interesting we have the recorded audio and this is the custom greeting and as you can see this is in Chinese we can't even understand these kind of things optimized voice recognition etc just all these things are available 
if you move on to some other things let me show you one more thing if you open the recent app screen you can see your floating windows option available here but this is a china beta so only a floating windows option available here no dual apps feature nothing else no extra features are available i was expecting something but only a floating windows option obviously that's perfectly fine here you can use any app in the floating window if you want to as it's the official room so obviously there are no bugs but the, some features should be there but only the floating windows it's quite disappointing we have some features missing here which is a little bit of disappointing but you don't need to worry about anything let me show you one more thing when we go to the google play store and when we install an app so for example if we go to the app store and we're gonna choose the google pay app and install that let me show you one thing by installing this app we have some little bit of changes these were available in previous china beta rooms also but i have not shown you till now so whenever you install an app from Google Play Store, when you click on open, then you will see this new pop-up here. Allow Google Play Store to open this app, which is quite interesting. So it is like a confirmation dialog, deny or accept if you want to, which is quite interesting. And this is also kind of great thing in China Vita Room. If you want to install it, these are some cool features in China Vita Custom. Okay, now let's move on to the theme store which is present in this China beta. We have the recommended section where you will see the themes, the wallpapers and all the main things including some plotware and some ads. We have the theme section available here, the wallpaper, dynamic wallpaper, ringtones, fonts and icons. All the main features are perfectly fine here, perfectly working here and are available. When you go to the my account section here you can select the themes, wallpapers and all these things and in theme components what you can do is lock style status bar icons messaging dial pad favorite stay boot animation and boot audio these are the things which you can customize if you want to and also one thing i have noticed if you apply any third party theme directly from here you will not be able to just simply click on apply then it will not show you any warning but yes it will not apply at all how you can apply the third party themes you already know just open the me theme editor and apply any third party and at last let me show you one more thing when you go to the settings and when you go to the home screen here you have the system navigation option available you can simply check out the buttons or gesture this was available in already in everywhere but in this time we have a little bit of new menu in system navigation home screen by default you can go to the other things like the full screen display option but now we have the system navigation button in the home screen where you can choose the buttons or navigation or gestures if you want to and also you can hide the full screen gesture as expected google assistant option is not there because it's a chinese build so obviously they will talk about their ai assistant but we don't need that so this is all and these are all the things in china beta latest china beta official beta custom room available for a lot of devices i'll put a link in the description for these devices now this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day